So now I completed the restoration of the Shaolin 52 mil, and the last thing I've done is to mount a DRO. I got the old Heidenheim DRO from um, from work after we upgraded to a new Sony Magnus scale, which I have on my also you bought for my lathe, and uh, I've done it the way that. Uh, on the longitudinal axis, I have the reader head mounted fixed to this bracket and the scales move with the table. And the same goes for the, um, for the in-out feed, while on the up and down I have the, um, the reader head uh, following the movement. Now I set it up so we can do a short run. And I have to be able to get to the to the handles, both for the adjustment of the, uh, the lead screw at the engagement and to the rack feed. The rack is now in position. You can also see that the, the mechanism for, for hitting the stops is also a concern, so I had to think about how to avoid that, to, to retain all the functionality. From the side, you can see the, the channel for the cover, for the in-out, and then the same for the up and down, and then cables run through this duct here only to be able to have it a little bit more neat up to the DRO which I have just as for now at least mounted standing on the, or sitting on top of this uh, piece of wood it's actually just glued onto this casting because you have this casting moves a little bit in and out when you clamp the head at least some tens of, of a millimeter Okay, a little bit closer, and I've used the uh, mount. Uh, this upper and lower mountain mounting are actually there are holes drilled in the casting at the extremes uh, of the uh, in the channel where you have um, the stop nuts or the stop uh, T nuts actually. They are in line now with the maximum travel, so that doesn't interfere. And then uh, this gives a pretty sturdy mount. And here down you can see the actual... Uh, uh, how to say... At least the mount, uh, very rigid mount. The uh, only place I could find on the... Um, knee casting where I didn't protrude into the let's say the um, the cavity where you have the gearbox and everything filled with oil so I wanted to be able to avoid that therefore I used let's say it was a small um, uh, surface on the extreme end here where I could drill a couple of holes and then mount these um, studs and the studs are two way so first length or for attaching the to the up and down and then the second length is to attach to the in and out feed. I thought that gave a pretty sturdy um, sturdy mount. And here review from the lower part. And from the front, see I've only used small studs and I drilled through here but uh, certain that the, the cavity here, call it that, that uh, this, uh, this doesn't interfere and there is no, no uh, the oil level is below that anyway.